Welcome to the second episode, guys. Um, pretty, oh, okay. We're gonna make it rain. Make it rain in the background. I got Anthony with me here. We're about to do the easy lip install and STI lip install. So lips on lips on lip. <laughs> Easy Lip. We worked with them in the past, uh, about two years ago, Cars Hype. They were really generous. They sent us Easy Lip for my old Saab. And I asked them if they could send me some for my new Saab. Old Saab. New old Saab. The 900. Not that one. Jerk. God damn no, it. The one that's broken down God the God damn it, Anthony. Um, they were very generous. And I mentioned that we have a booth at the Shift Car Show that we keep promoting, which is tomorrow. And they gave us some of those to give away in the prize pack for a charity raffle. But we also mentioned Jer's 240 project and how it could use some easy lip for more round effects, if you will. And they were like, sure thing. Thank you, Stefan at Easy Lip. Thank you guys for being so generous. So we're just gonna show you guys Easy Lip, show you the install, and it's, it's a really a no-brainer. You basically, I mean, I'll just show you here. So you got this, I don't know if you can see it. It's a 3M uh, double-sided tape that's already applied, and you basically peel the sticker and, and just stick it on. And boom, you got yourself a nice little lip here. This this is actually gonna go on his side. But a lot of people will say, oh, why use Easy Lip when you could just get the garage door sealer stuff from Home Depot? But I'm always a good proponent of Easy Lip, not because they've given me stuff before, but truly I think it's a good product. If you notice, yeah, it's actually designed. So over here, there's kind of a, a lip. So it seals where you put your, your lip. I mean, that's a lot of lips, but It'll make sense when we put it on the car. It's actually designed. It's got like a form to it. And it's, uh, I'm not sure what it's made of, like a rubber polyurethane, something or other, but it's its nice and flexible. It's its foamy, it's nice. It's really? solid, it's solid, yeah. Uh, There's no other way to put it than like, I wouldn't put garage door stuff on my car when they make a product that works perfectly fine, reasonably priced. We've used Easy Lip before in the past and it's worked great. It sticks really well compared to like Garage Door, which you kind of apply and make yourself and it really just falls off. But this, like, once you stick it, it's solid. Like, it's gonna stay there and it's gonna be great. Um, you guys know my car's already pretty low, so we decided to get the Easy Lip Classic because Easy Lip also has Easy Lip Pro, which. It's not pictured here. <laughs> not pictured here, but it's, it's thicker. It's maybe about. Up to here, it's really fat. It's on the other Saab, which we can show you. And I don't know if we're gonna vlog the fuel pump adventure, but it's uh, it's pretty thick, and it's it's a little more pricey, but it's good if you know that you need that extra low. But in this case, like Drew was saying, he's pretty low, so we're sticking with the Easy Look Classic. Hopefully, shouldn't rip off. I don't I don't think it will. Um, my bumper will probably come off before the Easy Look will, because it sticks really well. So. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, you just want something to clean the surface of what you're gonna apply the lip to. Any any sort of general household cleaner is good. You don't want anything that's gonna damage your paint, but I think your side skirt's already been painted. So you're just gonna give it a quick rub down. I mean, obviously if your car's really dirty, you're gonna wanna prep the surface, but I can feel the bottom of the side skirt is pretty smooth already. It's not like crusted in dirt. It's dirty, but it's not yeah. too bad. I haven't done any dirt drops yet, guys, so <clears throat> should be solid. And then, again, it's really simple. It's really a no-brainer, but just get here. Helps if you have nails. 3M tape. Actually, I don't know if the I don't know if the classics have 3M tape. They have a strong tape because I know that the Pro I put on my car had like the 3M stampings on it. Mm. Whatever they use, it's still very strong. So you just want to hey. line it up. Make sure it's good. And then you move it out, pressing with strength along the way. Honestly, the hardest part I always find is like following the line you want. Like I always found myself going in too much. Like, That's true. Like I probably am right now. Yeah. And again, you just want to keep applying pressure as you go along. I like that. Even just with that short, like two seconds of like holding it there, it's already sticking itself. And we're probably going to go over it and Make sure it's fully. Is it painted? I thought it was I just don't know. Like, like raw side skirt. I I honestly have no clue. I think it's gonna look really good on your car on the side. It, yeah, I already like it. Cause you have the the lip in the front's black, and you have the can art in the front. Really, we just gotta throw in the diffuser. True. Which is another episode, guys. Stay tuned for that. I've just been slacking, and you guys know where we live, so it's not exactly as easy as just going out and putting it on the car. Plus, if you guys own a 240, you know where the gas tank is. So it's not as easy as the SE where you can just bolt it straight to the wheel well. 
And this might just work out perfectly where it's the right length. If not, it's as simple as just cutting it to the right length and you're good to go. And so now that we're at the end, probably gonna cut it. It's not really just scissors or tin snips, but they cut very, very well. They do. They Look feel at that. Like, it's like very satisfying to cut it with. Yeah, it's solid. extremely satisfying. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. But would you look at that? Look at this. <laughs> and so now I'm just gonna go back over it, make sure it's all nice and stuck up there. But I can already tell it's gonna look sick. Yeah. Look at that. It looks like he did a plastic extra lower part, but he just got his easy look. Didn't need to drill into his side skirts. Didn't even need to jack up the car, but like yeah. we said, we came from the axle video, and since this car's pretty low, we figured why not just put the easy lip up here. It'll be easier for filming, easier on our backs. But again, you don't even need to jack up your car. You don't need any tools. But it's way better than I thought. Like, I knew it was yeah. gonna look good, but... All right, Jerry, what are we doing? So pretty much, we're gonna be installing an STI lip on my GTR bumper. If you watched one of the previous videos, I can't remember which one it was, but I explained that to get a lip for this bumper, it's like 400 bucks minimum. And that's without shipping from Japan. I was like, I can't afford that, especially how low I am. I didn't want to blow up this fiberglass $400 lip. So kind of did some Googling, looked up the width of a stock GTR, looked up the width of a stock STI, an 06 to be specific. And funny thing is they're only half an inch off. So bought the lip, $40, not even bad. This is the fourth one going on right now. And it just works. All you have to do is trim the ends because it's a little bit too long and you're good to go. <coughs> just like that, there's lip number three. Voila. Voila. Brand new lip. The great part about these lips too is it's already pre-drilled, so I can the same little holes for mine and it works great. So if you happen to have an R32 GTR in the United States and you were bought it on a budget and don't have the money for a lip, now you know. R32 lip. An STI lip on GTR bumper. Alright guys, so we got the front sides of Easy Lip on and it looks pretty good. I really like the side skirts. It flows really well. Which is surprising because I thought when I first got the side skirts they were a little too aggressive in my opinion. But they're growing on me, and with the easy look, it looks great. And so the front doesn't look too bad either. Um, I nice. still have a little bit of clearance, so not a bad day. Yeah, this is why we didn't go with the easy lip pro. It would have literally been touching the ground at all times with the pro. And even with the classic, if we had it fully mounted out, it probably would be really close to the ground. So now, now we just kind of have like a rubber protector. Almost might mitigate some damage. Who knows? But if you really look closely, it's hard to tell with the shadows, but you can see that he's got a little lip on the lip. Shout out to Easy Lip for hooking it up with a bunch of great products. Uh, make sure you go check out their website. They have a bunch of Easy Lips that you can get. They have um, it in colors. They have in colors. Yeah, they have in different plastic, colors. They have pro. plastic, they have pro. And some tools um, for like removing Easy Lip. Yeah, they even have like special tools for it. Um, make sure you go check out Easy Lip and Cars Hype. We have a discount code. If you type in SHIFT 2K 2017, um, you get a 20% discount code, so make sure to go check out their site. And I'll have the link right here and as well in the description. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and let me know what you guys think. If you guys like Easy Lip, you've tried Easy Lip, let me know. And hope this install helps. <laughs>